New question, member from Parkdale Hyde Park. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Attorney General. November 20th is Trans Remembrance Day, and I am joined today by members of the Trans Health and Rainbow Health in the gallery. New Democrats have tabled Toby's Act, the right to be free from discrimination and harassment because of gender identity, three times in this House. When will the McGuinty government bring forward its own legislation to make sure that gender identity is included in the Ontario Human Rights Code? Minister. Thank you, Speaker, and I'm sure I join all members in the legislature in welcome, welcoming members to the, uh, to the legislature. I welcome members of the community. We have, this government has no tolerance for discrimination. That's right. We have no tolerance for discrimination based on transphobia. The Human Rights Code protects, protects the transsexual and transgendered community. The decisions are clear. It extends the protection. And the message that we want to make sure everybody knows is that protection is there for you if you need it. And anyone even thinking of discriminating on this basis don't. It's against the law. It's against the protections of the code. Right. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Attorney General should know that non-specified rights do not hold up. The Alberta Supreme Court has already ruled on that. That's why there's a growing outcry for such legislation. Ontario Human Rights Commissioner herself, Barbara Hall, supports our bill and wrote a letter to the Toronto Star calling for gender identity to be added to the Ontario Human Rights Code. Economic data, Mr. Speaker, shows that 97 per cent of trans Ontarians face employment discrimination. 50 per cent live below the poverty line, 41 per cent attempt suicide. The McGuinty government can help end this discrimination by bringing forward legislation. When will, Mr. Speaker, it finally have the political courage to do so? Minister. Thank you, Speaker. We have legislation. It's called the Human Rights Code. The decisions are clear. Those of the transsexual and transgendered communities are protected, and I, we want to be very clear. <clears throat> it is not helpful to suggest in any way, shape, or form that there's some challenge with the existing protections. There are not. None. The protections are there for those who need them, and for those who even think that they can discriminate, do not. The law prohibits it. The decisions are clear. The protections exist. We reject all forms of discrimination in this province.